Hi class, in lesson 7.2 you will be exploring squares, cubes, and roots. Learning targets for today, you will determine the square and cube of a number and calculate the square root and cube root of a number. Key terms to look for in lesson 7.2, square of a number, perfect squares, square root, radical, radicand, perfect cube, cube of a number, cube root, and index. Please turn to page 474, problem 1, landscaping by Linda. Linda is a landscape architect who specializes in designing backyard patio floors. She has a large collection of different square tiles that she uses to lay out her patio floor designs. When she consults with a possible client, she always takes graph or grid paper to demonstrate her designs. She is going to do this in order to help her clients visualize her patio designs. She needs to make a square patio out of 169 blue square tiles. She needs to determine how many different sized square patios she can create with 169 tiles. Linda starts with the designs shown. Please take a look at Linda's designs and answer number two with your group members. For number two, the one by one square will have an area of one square unit the 2x2 two two square, an area of 4 square units, and the 3x3 three three square, an area of 9 square units. Please answer number 3 with your group members. For number 3, you can determine the area of each square in one of three ways. First, you could count the little squares in each figure. Uh, second, you can multiply the length by the width or third, you can square the length of the side. The area of a square is calculated by multiplying the length of the side by itself. The formula A equals S times S can also be written as A is equal to S squared. To calculate the square of a number, you multiply the number by itself. Please turn to page 475. In question 2, you calculated the area for the first three square patio designs. 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, and 3 squared is 9. 1, 4, and 9 are called perfect squares because each is the square of a whole number. For instance, 9 is a perfect square because 3 is a whole number and 3 times 3 is 9. Another way you can write this mathematical sentence is 3 squared equals 9. Please answer number four with your group members. Notice the directions that I have crossed out. All you are doing is writing the math sentence using exponents to represent each perfect square right up here in the top of the grid. For number four, here are the math sentences using exponents to represent each perfect square that you should have for the top of the grid. Please check these over with your group members to make sure that they are correct. Please turn to page 476. If you know the area of a square, you can work backwards to calculate the length of the side of the square. For example, to determine the length of a side of a square that has an area of 81, you need to calculate what number multiplied by itself will equal 81. Since 9 times 9 is equal to 81, the side length of the square is 9, and 9 is called the square root of 81. A square root is one of two equal factors of a given number. Every positive number has two square roots, a positive square root and a negative square root. For instance, 5 is the square root of 25 because 5 times 5 is equal to 25. This symbol is called a radical and it is used to indicate square roots. The radicand is the quantity under a radical sign. If we look at the example, we will read this as the square root of 25. Please answer number 5, letters A through O, with your group members. Here are your answers for number 5, letters A through O. Please check them over with your group members to make sure they are correct. 
Please answer number six, seven, and eight with your group members. For number six, the square root of zero is going to be zero because you know that zero multiplied by itself is zero. For number seven, the side length of the largest square that Linda can create is going to be 13 because 13 is the square root of 169. And finally, for number eight, the square root of a number will not always be a whole number. Uh, one possible example could be the square root of seven because no whole number multiplied by itself is going to give you seven. Please turn to page 479, problem two, making cubes. Number one tells us to use unit cubes to build a cube with side lengths of one, two, and three units. Please answer number two with your group members. And if you look down at the bottom of the table, an example has already been given for you where they are going to use a unit cube with side lengths of four units. My first cube in the table will have dimensions of one by one by one, which will be one cubic unit. My second cube, two by two by two, eight cubic units. And my third cube, three by three by three, 27 cubic units. The volume of a cube is calculated by multiplying the length of the cube by the width of the cube by the height of the cube. The formula, V equals S times S times S, can be written as V equals S cubed. In question one, you calculated the volume of three cubes whose side lengths were the first three counting numbers. One cubed is one, two cubed is eight, and three cubed is 27. One, eight, and 27 are called perfect cubes. A perfect cube is the cube of a whole number. For example, 64 is a perfect cube since four is a whole number and four times four times four is equal to 64. To calculate the cube of a number, you multiply the number by itself three times. Please turn to page 480, answer number three, letters A through J with your group members. Here are your answers for number three, letters A through J. Please check them over with your group members. If you know the volume of a cube, you can work backwards to calculate the side lengths of the cube. For example, to determine the side lengths of a cube that has a volume of 125, you need to calculate what number multiplied by itself three times will equal 125. Since 5 times 5 times 5 is 125, a side length of the cube is 5, and 5 is called the cube root of 125. A cube root is one of three equal factors of a number. As with the square root, the cube root also uses a radical symbol, but has a 3 as an index. The index is the number placed above and to the left of the radical to indicate what root is being calculated. Please answer number four, letters A through J, with your group members. Here are your answers for number four, letters A through J. Please check them over with your group. Please answer number five and number six with your group members. For number five, the side length of the largest cube that you can create with 729 cubes is nine because the cube root of 729 is equal to nine. For number six, much like with square roots, the cube root of a number will not always be a whole number. Again, another possible example could be the cube root of seven because no whole number multiplied by itself three times is equal to seven. This will conclude today's lesson 7.2 on exploring squares, cubes, and roots. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.